Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam, and in this Maintenance Monday video, I actually have to do some winterizing around my house. It's actually finally gonna get cold uh, almost the middle of November. Uh, there's several things that I do uh, when I'm winterizing out here. I have an irrigation system, so I do take my backflow preventer out of the irrigation system, and then I've got a few shutoffs and a few things I can open up. And I left one on this greenhouse. Anybody saw my propagation series last year, I have a little spot there that I can open up to let the water out of the irrigation heads that are in that greenhouse. Otherwise, they will definitely freeze and crack uh, this winter. I also use a fuel stabilizer in any gas that I have left over that I'm using in my equipment. I store my two cycle equipment empty, um, just do because of the ethanol that's in the gas. I have a place that I can go and buy gasoline without ethanol in my area, but it costs like double per gallon. So what I do on my two cycle stuff is I just store them empty. That will include my um, weed eaters, backpack blower, that kind of thing. All that two cycle stuff that you have mixed gas in, I just store them empty. I may be wrong about that. <laughs> Just, and, and there may be comments uh, that I'm wrong about that, but I like to store those things empty. Uh, I've just had all of the plastic parts on those pieces of equipment destroyed over the years. Uh, another example of that would be my chainsaw, the little bubble on my chainsaw that primes it. I've had to replace that bubble a couple times because I've left gas in it over the winter and it breaks that seal where that primer bubble is. So I just store all that stuff empty. Uh, if there's gas in my mower, typically I'll mow and I'll chop up all the leaves and I'll run it out of gas. And then in my gas can, this is a two and a half gallon gas can. If you use the Stabil stabilizer, this is the one I've always uh, used. Uh, I'll link this in the description of this video. Whatever gas is in this, I'll mix the appropriate ratio of this. This is like one ounce per two and a half gallons. So I'll mix that in the appropriate amount and then I'll pour some of that some of this mixture back into my mower and I'll run it for just a minute to get that mix in the carburetor. And then all my fuel is stabilized for the winter. So when I crank my equipment back up in the spring, it's good to go. But like I say, two cycle stuff, I just leave it empty because that ethanol just does terrible things to all the plastic parts in your carburetor system and your fuel intake system. The other things I'll do this week is I had a container vegetable garden over here on my deck and I had the irrigation running to it. I'm gonna unplug it from the wall I'm also gonna disconnect the clock from the faucet. I'm gonna disconnect anything from any faucets around my house. I've got an above ground faucet in my front yard and I have a shut off down below it. I'll shut it off and then I actually open the faucet so whatever little bit of water is trapped up in there can have a place to expand. So that'll be taken care of. And then like I say, I turn off my main valve I put under the ground uh, over here. And if I'm ever gonna get single digits or anything, my main valve is actually exposed in this little open trench. I'll bury that thing in some leaves or something like that, but we don't get a lot of single digit nights where I am, but if we do, I do have to think of a few extra steps beyond what I'm doing right now. A couple other things I have going on right now is my annual ryegrass has come up, looks fantastic. I'd like to get the blades thickened up a little more before the worst of the winter. So I'm gonna do a half application of fertilizer sometime this week. Uh, and that should give me another boost. I'm gonna be mowing a couple more times probably before I'm actually stowing my mower at this point. And then I also started on my Back to Eden garden over here. I have cheated a little bit. I chipped up all the things that you've seen me cut off the trees for the last few months and uh, it's down there. But I had a lot of planting mix left at the nursery and I am bringing it home and it's already composted. So it's cheating the system a little bit with a back to Eden garden. Typically you're using wood chips and it takes probably a few years for them to really become very productive. Like I say, I, I'm already gonna have a compost layer on top of my wood chips. And there's some fertilizer in that material as well, which will help those wood chips break down a little bit quicker. So I am cheating the system a little bit on that. So anyway, that's what I've got going on. I'm actually being rained on while I'm shooting this video. And then after this, it's supposed to be cold in my area, but not unseasonably cold. It's only like 27 degrees, really not that big of a deal, but I do want to get these things disconnected from faucets and be thinking about these winterizing things and be thinking about storing my gas for the winter and prepping my garden for spring. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again next week with another Maintenance Monday. Thanks for watching.